Today's video is sponsored by Milk Love What's Real. Seth and I are cooking up something kind of fun today. We are making some homemade eggnog this morning. This is how I do things around here. <laughs> Keeping a baby quiet. Gotta find my sling here, but we're making some homemade eggnog. I wanna get it in the fridge right away this morning because we have a busy day and we want to use it tonight. So I'm gonna show you how I make it real quick and then we'll come back tonight after a crazy day and <laughs> and um, we're gonna do some fun with it. I'm starting with four cups of milk and one teaspoon of cinnamon. We love using milk. We go through about 16 gallons of whole milk. We like whole milk around here um, every month with our slightly larger than average size family. <laughs> okay, Belle's helping me with the baby a second. Not only do we drink milk, but we, uh, we make yogurt with milk. We use it a lot in our oatmeal. My kids will not eat oatmeal without milk in it. We go through a lot of milk around here between our cheese and our creams and our milk. Oh, that baby wants me today. Over here, Luca is mixing 12 egg yolks with one cup of sugar and we're kind of whipping it together. Judah really wanted to make this eggnog. None of us have ever made eggnog here at our house, and we've wanted to for a while. But Judah had to be somewhere this morning, so Luca's helping me, and right now they like argue over who gets time in the kitchen. <laughs> Which is kind of like the best argument ever. <laughs> I love it, because they both want to cook and do all the things. We are whipping up that sugar and eggs. Mm. We're just supposed to make this milk and cinnamon warm, and it's definitely getting warm. And then you can go bring that egg and sugar over here. We're gonna mix the egg and sugar mixture into here and um, keep cooking and warming it and stirring it for five to 10 minutes until it gets thick. This one here? Yep. So that was 12 eggs and one cup of sugar, 12 egg yolks. Excuse me, 12 egg yolks, one cup of sugar. We're doing about medium heat and we're gonna stir and warm this until it thickens. Like all there is in it? Is yeah, we have spices? a couple more things to do at the end. So with, um, you don't have to stir it that fast. So with a, in fact, you can give it a break. If we have a thermometer, which we do, we can make sure it gets to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Otherwise, just make sure it gets thick. While that is cooking up, and he's babysitting it for me, we did three cups. You could use half and half or heavy whipping cream. I actually had some half and half. We don't usually have that, but I had some leftover from Thanksgiving my dad had brought over. So I used up that and then I filled the rest with heavy whipping cream. So we have a mixture of both. Three cups of that and then two teaspoons of vanilla and two pinches of nutmeg. This is getting thick, 153 degrees. We're getting there. We're kind of running late. We gotta go too, so. Come on, hurry up, eggnog, hurry up. Does that work? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> we got it to 160, it's getting thicker here. And we're gonna pour in this. Go, you wanna do that? All right, we poured in that heavy whipping cream mixture. And then <clears throat> we're gonna get transfer this to another container and store it in the fridge all day and we'll come back to it. We did let it cool for a couple minutes and then, yeah, it just means you can do it overnight or at least a couple of hours is what the recipe says because we're gonna serve it chilled. So we'll come back to that. We're gonna do something really fun. So stay tuned for that. But today, guys, we're supposed to take family pictures. I know Solo is so excited about that. <laughs> Isn't every father love family pictures? This is how much it made up to there. So it's a full picture. We're obviously doing it large family style. You don't <laughs> have to make that much. You could cut it in half. It would still be a significant amount. I'm trying to close every cupboard door here on my way out. We got a mad baby We're into pictures. Actually, we're on to me. Solo and the other kids, we're on our way rather. For pictures. I hate it when a baby cries in a car because I can do nothing about it. It's the saddest thing ever. And we're running late. The baby's finally quiet. Oh, wait. Never mind. I better not say that. <laughs> He likes it when the car is moving. And also when you played on Drew with Kelly and David Foster. He has good taste in music. <laughs> hey! He's very picky. You should clean your glasses before the pictures. Do are you guys wearing glasses for pictures? No way. Please, can I? I hate my Usually glasses. Usually take them off because it reflects back. 
Yeah. Yeah, you talk to Miss Sherry about it. Oh, it's the glasses look cool, but they reflect. Can't see your eyes. I can't wait till I get contacts because I hate wearing glasses. Oh man, we got kids rolling in leaves. We're at our state capital because it has a great staircase, a lot of great staircases. And we're gonna try to get some pictures here before the sun goes down. Because it's 54 today. After today, it's gonna be way too cold. What? I to Oh, she has lots of opinions. Lots. Those doors are awesome. I hope she can do the pictures in front of those doors because they're cool. So, we went inside. We went inside. It says closed. I don't want you guys to get in any trouble. Oh, let's wipe our burgers with her sweater. <laughs> Really this is Miss Sherry. She takes our pictures. She is amazing. And she's Canadian. Did you hear it? Eh? Push it with your finger. Push this with your finger. No, well, take the picture. Okay, wow. Go, 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 go. Okay, go get in the picture now. Quickly. Right here. Here we go. Stop jumping around. Hold the baby Hey, Des. Des. What do you want? What can we bribe you with? Ice cream? Ice cream? Yes. <laughs> Eli, you need to stay there. Guys, look at me. One. How high can I go? How many think I could go very high? One, two, three. Three. Hey, go right behind my head, Pastor Saul. <laughs> we survived family pictures. We got it done in less than an hour. We had no choice. The sun was going down. It goes down really early here because we met her at four. Anyway, uh, we got home and we have had a crazy weekend. So our house looks trashed. Our car looks trashed. Everything looks trashed. Does this happen when you don't have 10 kids? Is it just large families? Just us, I don't know. Oh, things are falling. So anyway, we're gonna pick up our house quick and then we're gonna have, we're gonna have a little treat because of all our hard work. Problem is I can't help much because I need to feed the baby. It's dark, but I think you can see just how I'm trashed. Oh, for those of you that think we're perfect, this is important to see once in a while. Real life. Hey, this is the testing crew. They're waiting while dad is pouring some samples over there of eggnog. You're gonna get two cups. I want you to take a sip of each one and then you're gonna try to decide which one is the store-bought. Store-bought. <laughs> and which one's the homemade eggnog. Are you gonna figure out which one's store bought? I can't do the contest. I know which one's which. No, yeah, you don't I know. know. I'll leave Luca. <laughs> Wait, can Luca you help me make All it. All right, guys. Did you try that one? Yes. Okay. Mm, I want to try. Can First I try of all, you? okay. Who would say the glass is tastes better? Raise your hand. One, two, three. <coughs> Okay, put your hand up. Who would say plastic tastes better? Glass, okay. Glass. Oh, okay. okay. So, so right now the glass is the winner, right? In terms of which one is better? All right. So one of them was made right here in this kitchen, and one of them was bought in the store. I know which one. Micah, what do you think? Noel, which one is? Which one is from the store and which one was made here? Which okay, one? which one's from the store? This one? The glass one? Mm -hmm. Which one do you think is from the store? Um, I think it's the glass one. How about you? This is the store. Plastic? Store? Yeah. The plastic? Oh, which one's from the store? I'm just gonna drink all of it. <laughs> Both of them? Mm -hmm. Which one is from the store? <laughs> and is the glass one homemade? Oh, let me see. <laughs> the glass one is homemade and the plastic is so much. So you guys like the homemade one better. How did you know the glass one was homemade? Well, on the top it looked We probably could have gotten a little thicker. Because at the top it looks clear, but on the glass one 
Yeah. You want more? Mm -hmm. She likes the <laughs> she likes the store bought. <laughs> the homemade one tastes like a gingerbread cookie. It it is really good. It's a little sweeter, and we probably could have gotten it a little thicker because it didn't match the thickness of the store bought. So that's how a lot of them guessed, I think. But yeah, you do see a little nutmeg on the top, um, but it's good. It's really good. They're coming back for more and more. Belle was working on something, so she missed it. She's gonna come get some, but um, we need to keep this in mind for holidays because they like it a lot, and and it's it's nice to be able to make it when you're making for a huge group. I told you guys that we do about 16 gallons of whole milk a month here. We love whole milk because it makes nice, good yogurt. We use it a lot for that. Um, but we also like feeding our kids whole milk. Who's our biggest milk fan in this house? Belle. Belle. I think it's Belle. Definitely. <laughs> Thank you so much to Milk Love What's Real for sponsoring today's video. So you guys can visit MilkLife.com to learn more about different types of real milk for you and your family. There is one more important thing we have to do tonight that these guys cannot wait for. They've been asking for it. Especially They've been asking for it for, um, man, it's loud tonight. <laughs> for like two weeks. Two weeks. Tori, what are we going to do? We are going to do a secret Santa. But it won't be secret. Not so That's secret a Santa. Secret. Really, we're just exchanging Mom, that names. So good. Tori, are you happy that we're finally gonna do it? Oh, okay. <laughs> I know. Let's go walk. You wanna go for a walk? Yeah. It's pitch black outside and very cold. I have a question. Did we put Seth's name in there? Yes. Oh, poor Seth. He's like, I'm done with this yeah, day, people. <laughs> You've got Seth! <gasps> yes. oh. Oh. Are you gonna buy Seth a toy? Or some socks or something? What do you have to? I got Noelle. Whoa. Noelle wanted you. Guys, please don't forget who you got because I can't remember. <laughs> Destiny, are you trying to run the segue? Oh, oh, that'll be interesting. <laughs> Luca. I told you to win that. Who'd you, you get? Oh, Is that who you wanted? Oh, oh yeah. She got stuff. I got myself. I knew I'd get myself. Yeah, you got Tori. I knew I got Tori. Oh, but I thought the gig you said you that you wanted. I got my good. Destiny. Wow. I got Destiny. Let me think what I can get. Yeah. Seth got Belle. <laughs> Destiny, who did Destiny? Destiny, get? you got Eli. You got Eli. Eli. Are you gonna buy a gift for Eli? Yeah, I think you're gonna give Eli a baby toy. Belle, could you maybe write all of these on the chalkboard so we don't forget? Uh, I think you have a video recorded. You're not gonna forget. Oh, no trading allowed. No trading. This always is the best part. Christmas morning, all they care about is who's opening the gift that they got for somebody. They love getting somebody a gift. It makes it so Eli, fun. You're gonna spend a lot of money for someone. So tomorrow we are gonna hopefully get out and do some shopping. We wanted to um, have everybody exchange names before it's so loud today. Before that, so I think these kids are tired. I know, Solo tired. I'm tired. Seth's tired. Down here. Goodbye guys, see ya. Thank you so much to Milk Love What's Real for sponsoring today's video.